Hello everybody! In this video we will talk about our clinical experience and observations with the treatment of long COVID or technically PSCS post SARS-CoV syndrome in the Buchinger Wilhelmi clinics. After having suffered severe forms of COVID-19 infections, a certain percentage of patients remain symptomatic for months and see their life quality sometimes extremely diminished. Long-term fasting, according to the Buchinger Wilhelmi fasting program, showed an acceleration of recovery of certain symptoms and in some cases, striking improvements and no case of worsening of the symptoms. The observation we made in a specialized facility under medical supervision will probably um, inspire you to try this if you are concerned by what we call today long COVID or more technically PSCS post-SARS-CoV COVID syndrome. Four cases will be presented to you by Dr. Eva Lischka, a very experienced uh, medical doctor specialized in fasting and long-term fasting. Please, you have the floor. I would like to present four cases of post-COVID syndrome and long COVID syndrome. The first is a project manager from Switzerland, 44 years old. The lady was infected by her daughter in December 2020. She suffered three days from back pain, fever and complained about persisting anosmia. She could not smell. She came in April 2021, four months after infection and fasted for eight days. Her height is 172 centimeters, BMI was 20.4 kilogram per square meters. The weight dropped 1.3 kilogram. She regained completely the ability to smell. The second patient is an Italian woman, 61 years old. Her COVID infection was in October 2020. She suffered from severe headache, one day aphasic complaints, problems with speaking, loss of smell and taste, severe muscle pain. Recurrent aphasic complaints with worth finding difficulties, bivarietal pressing headaches, persistent energy loss. She came in May 2021, seven months after infection. Her height is 1 meter 71 centimeter, BMI 24.7 kilogram per square meter. She fasted for 14 days. The weight dropped 3.4 kilogram. And in the beginning, she had mild headache, but the course was without any complication. Energy and fatigue clearly improved. No more aphasic complaints. End of June 2021, she assured by telephone 100% regeneration and well-being. The third patient is a Swiss curative teacher, 56 years old. She has long COVID syndrome after infection in November 2020. She has walking problems with disturbance of balance, dizziness, partial need of wheelchair, back pain with tingling and sporadic numbness, sudden onset of weakness with almost complete inability to move with right-sided paresthesia, hypesthesia. 
intermittent shortness of breath, chest tightness on slight mental or physical exertion, significant lack of concentration, loss of appetite, constant nausea. She is in long COVID consultation at the University Hospital Zurich. Comprehensive pneumological, cardiological and neurological examination like MRI neurocranium, laboratory, electrocardiography were performed and no specific explanation for the complaints could be found. She came in April 2021, six months after infection. Concrete goals of her stay were reduction of general weakness, improvement of walking pro problems and condition, stabilization of the emotional state. She fasted for 13 days. Afterwards, four days, 800 kilocalories diet, and then up to 1,800 kilocalories. Her height is 174 centimeter, BMI 21.7 kilogram per square meter, and the weight dropped 2.6 kilogram. Focus of treatment was on individual physiotherapy and psychological talks, osteopathy and massages. Sense of taste was restored, no nausea, appetite has returned, marked improvement in physical performance with walking distance of 10,000 steps at 6 km per hour. Weakness attacks considerably improved in terms of frequency and intensity. She learned to assess limits regarding physical activity well, perceives warning signals better, still she has limited ability to concentrate. The fourth patient is a headmistress retired 70 years old. She visited her niece for her birthday at the end of February 2020. Her children fell ill with high fever on the same evening. The kindergarten teacher had returned from Ischgl. The patient developed a fever at home as in severe influenza. After four days, she lost the ability of taste and smell. She cured herself at home, did not go to the doctor. Taste returned after about four weeks, first salty and sour, later completely. She came in June 2021, 16 months after infection. Her height is 1 meter 63 centimeters, BMI 31.6 kilogram per square meter, and she fasted for 17 days. The weight dropped 5.8 kilogram, the abdominal girth from 109 to 94 centimeters. She received additional vitamin B complex, ubiquinol Q10, vitamin D because the level was too low, and we did a blood lead because concentration of hemoglobin and hematocrit was too high. On the seventh fasting day, first smelling experience since over one year. Afterwards, more and more often for seven to eight minutes. Two weeks after returning home, she informed by phone that she has smelling experience for one hour daily, like lemon, cinnamon, fried onions, and she trains with clove spice, etc. every day. And also milder smells like perfume come back. We keep in contact. These are the cases we observed. Francoise, which mechanisms could explain these clinical improvements? First, we tried to explain through 
several mechanisms. You heard that the anosmia, the inability to taste and to um, smell, uh, was recovered uh, slowly in some cases. Uh, this is an observation that has been made already before the COVID era, with people having suffered anosmia probably because of other viral infections. Clinically, we know that we had several cases. We never made a systematic review on that, but this is going to be done now. We have, um, we have started a, a systematic uh, uh, observational study on the recovery of long COVID or PSCS. Of course, one first thing you get when you make a long-term fasting <clears throat> under this uh, medical supervision with a special program uh, is the metabolic reset. And we know that the factors who favor a dramatic course of the COVID infection, uh, which uh, in turn elicits in a certain percentage of the cases uh, PSCS or long COVID situation, they are bettered enormously by fasting. The weight goes down, especially the abdominal uh, fat is reduced and uh, blood pressure normalizes, uh, insulin resistance normalizes. So we can say that we have a sort of improvement generally of the, this metabolism, which probably is helping a lot also to the recovery of long COVID. Then the other aspect of long-term fasting is the diminishing of uh, chronic inflammatory processes. Uh, we have a chronic inflammation persisting, and this is probably why most of the symptoms perdure after, in some cases, after the acute infection. We see the people with this extreme tiredness, shortness of breath, chest pains, pains also, muscular pains, problems with memory and concentration, dizziness, insomnia, and a lot of anxiety. So in, uh, inflammation is enhanced, um, and um, there are some specific dysfunctions that we can also improve on the long term through nutritional guidelines, through nutritional changes. Um, we saw also in our studies that the antioxidative capacity of the body was enhanced by a fasting, probably through increasing the endogenous antioxidant capacity. And uh, the lipid peroxidation was diminished. So this aspect plays certainly a role in the regeneration after the fasting. Then we observed an improved microbiota composition that uh, might in turn also play a role in this improvement we see and also motivates the people to um, a sort of a different uh, eating behavior. When you fast, especially long term, you reset uh, all your eating behavior because you interrupt all the eating patterns, the behavioral patterns in general. There are other aspects which are extremely important. These are cell, cell structures and organ regeneration. First, during the long-term fasting, there is a phase of shrinking of the organs. Autophagy is stimulated um, as self-digesting cells, structures, damage or old. And a lot of uh, structures, especially in the cell lines of the blood, are damaged and dysfunctional during the long COVID. And this could, is plausible to think that the autophagies activate will maybe eliminate part of these cells uh, as much as uh, the apoptosis is stimulated, which probably brings some cells to disappear totally because they are too damaged or too old to be repaired. And so we think that uh, and stimulating the people to change their eating habits and have a healthy diet afterwards and a healthy lifestyle uh, will lead that in the period after the fasting, they will regenerate out of stem cells and new protein synthesis, um, maybe the function of an organ, uh, at least the function of the cells. 
And finally, uh, another aspect of the long-term fasting, in a setting where a whole staff is taking care of the persons far away from everyday life, the people um, see their mood enhanced, the reset, not only physically, but also emotionally. And this has been shown in big cohorts, uh, in studies we published in, um, in 2019 about almost 2,000 persons. And you see from day to day, the physical well-being and the emotional well-being, the mood, is enhanced. So it's not like many people think that long-term fasting is um, something very difficult to do. Uh, you have a metabolic change, you have an emotional change, a consciousness change, and when this after one to three days is, um, had ha has happened, then uh, the well-being improves. And I think many, many people who have suffered extremely have maybe have even um, feared to die during long COVID, uh, they will still be extremely anxious. And uh, fasting and also from the mental aspect have a big improvement. We can say that the fasting was very well tolerated, up to 15 days, and this is the maximum of the length of fasting we have in the observation, clinical observation we did until now. Thank you.